What's up you guys, my name is Roman Gonzalez. I am a traveling photographer, director, amazingly doing uh, music videos. I got this email in the other day from a girl named Hannah Harris. Uh, it says, hi, my name is Hannah Harris. I am currently a senior. I am very interested in becoming a music director, music video director, I'm assuming. I have a few questions about this industry. Um, so Hannah, shout out to you. I appreciate your initiative. Um, you know, reaching out and asking a few questions. I'm assuming you're a senior in high school. A transitional time for all of us, you know, when you're about to graduate high school uh, and you're trying to figure out what you want to do with your life. Um, so, you know, big kudos for you to you for reaching out, making an effort, um, and, you know, trying to get your feet wet. So, shout out to you, Hannah Harris. First question is, what do you like about being a videographer and even directing some music videos? So, what I like about be being a videographer is that I'm completely in control of my success or lack thereof. Um, there's nobody over me who tells me like what position I need to do, what I need to do that day. Um, my clients kind of do and that can get cumbersome and it can get frustrating and irritating dealing with clients sometimes but at the end of the day and you're your own boss, at least the way that I do it, I didn't go down a film school route or really work for a media company or anything like that. I just kind of built it uh, from the ground up. Um, so that's really what I like is is that it's all on me. I have no one else to point the finger at for my successes or my failures, my progress or my lack thereof. Why I love filmmaking in general is um, just being able to speak to people through art. That you know something that transcends something like film. Uh, that's you know visual and audio and dialogue. It, it transcends language. It transcends culture. It transcends communication with another person. And you can actually develop a story to where someone goes through an, a, you know a viewer goes through an emotional roller coaster, um, feels emotions, grows attachment to a character, to a movie. Um, I really love just storytelling. I'm not really good at art in any other sense. Um, so that's just always been how I express myself. What is the hardest part of this industry? Um, I guess you could say that the hardest part about it, you know, and it's twofold. The hardest part about it is the competitiveness. It's a very competitive industry. There's a lot of people, um, you know, gunning for those clients, but there is also a ton of clients, like a ton of work, and it's always growing and growing. Every business, every person um, needs content. It, it's really just tough, you know what I'm saying? The, the hardest part is um, just not caring what anybody else thinks and sticking to your gut. Um, and just you know continuing to improve. I guess you could say the hardest part is building clientele um, Especially with a higher ticket type of uh, Service like this if you're not getting a business that's on like a monthly or weekly Payment plan your clientele is you probably gonna book you maybe one or two times a year so in the beginning building up a lot of clientele um, at the price point that you want because it's so competitive there's a lot of beginner people who have maybe less or even more experience than you who are willing to do it for cheaper or for less or willing to do more for less so you really have to leverage your personality and you really have to leverage the number of people that you talk to in order to build as many connections as possible and do as much work as possible you know there's a lot that goes into it I actually recommend you check out um, some of the buff nerds Jacob Owens recent videos he's been talking about this stuff on a higher level I personally am not like in the mainstream field I just do um, you know music videos for independent artists sometimes very rarely they'll have a label um, so I'm dealing with really small budgets I I personally you know I'm a freelancer so I am in sales like I, I'm more of a salesman than a director almost you know what I'm saying um, while at the same time I'm not out here like trying to convince people to buy my videos. Um, I'm facilit facilitating the transactions. I'm telling them what they're gonna get. I'm communicating with the client, and that's how I, I prefer to do it. You get paid however, however, uh however you set it up for yourself to get paid. You're in control. My experience, I'm talking about someone who started off doing you know, free music videos, and then I did $50 music videos, $150, $300, $500, 1000 um, built my way up like that. I've done 400 plus music videos all over the country. Used to live out of my Prius, just going city to city, state to state, uh, doing cheap work wherever I could find. I hope that kind of answers your question on how directors get paid. Um, does every music video shoot have a producer? I have never worked with, with a producer. It's kind of the next level for me. I would love to work with a, a producer, but all of my videos up until this point are produced by either myself or the artist or a combination. Um, what advice would you give for somebody wanting to do this as a side hustle job? Um, my 
First and foremost advice is to just get out and start practicing. The more you shoot, the better you're gonna get. I recommend you check out my tutorials playlist on this page. I have tons of uh, info about you know how to shoot, how to get good at shooting, how to get good at the whole process. And uh, I'm obviously open to questions as well, so uh, feel free to drop that in. You, you gotta make sure before you start charging people that you can you know how to use your gear, you know what your aperture means, your ISO, your shutter speed, you know how to handle your uh, color temperature. Basically, you need to be well versed in, in your craft before you start charging somebody. So I recommend you do a ton of work for free, for fun, no strings attached. Maybe you don't even ever edit it, um, but that's how you get good and comfortable with your gear and with making money as a side hustle. You just got to get good and it takes lots and lots of practice. I'm talking about hundreds of hours of practice, okay? So um, What's next? Describe a day in the life of a director and videographer. Um, so for me, man, there's like a lot that goes into it. I just kind of like <laughs> do what I have time for. But on an average day, who knows? I might be spending like 15 hours editing. I might be on set for a few hours. I might be on Instagram in the DMs trying to find people. I might be running ads. Um, and my my behavior as a director and videographer over time has changed. I'm not doing the same types of behaviors today as I was a year ago or a year before that. Um, your behaviors change as you grow. I used to do multiple videos a day. Like that's how I was able to make a decent buck is I'd shoot at least one, maybe three or four music videos every day. Um, and now I, I'm shooting a lot less than that but I've, I'm putting a lot more time and effort into the various things that I do. Pre-production, you know, sometimes I might be out location scouting. It really just depends. At the end of the day, you just gotta do what you believe is the next step to elevate your craft. You can't <clears throat> think just because, okay, this creator has this camera or this guy has this lens, and then if I buy that gear, it's gonna make me better. The only thing that's gonna make you better is to get out and practice. And once you get out and you start doing some different client work, you may find that you don't even like doing music videos. You like shooting real estate videos or you like doing uh, you know, baby shower photos or whatever. Um, I, I really encourage you to just get out there and have fun, do as much as you can, find what you like. Once again, thank you Hannah Harris for submitting your questions. I appreciate you. I hope I answered them well enough. Um, if not, feel free to drop any other questions in the comments or back to my email. I appreciate you. I hope you are enjoying the content. And um, how did you find out about me? If you're watching this video, whether you're Hannah or someone else, I'm curious. How did you find out about me? Drop it in the comments below. Hit subscribe if you haven't already and drop a like on this video. Uh, especially if you're thinking of becoming a music video director. Let me know. I'd love to touch base with you. Appreciate you guys. Lots of new content coming soon. Peace.